start off today's video with saying happy thanksgiving guys it's thursday right now man we're actually waiting for the rest of the fam to pull up man i am ready to eat i'm not even playing and i hope you guys are with your family right now man sitting down eating enjoying some family time man because today that's what it's all about man some family time it's a week after the florida classic guys and let me tell you guys it was a very very good weekend man we absolutely killed it with the silverado man uh like i said there was so many other builds that were louder but man when i tell you that we were loud and clean guys man everybody was coming up and being like man this thing is loud and it sounds really really good and i did have the bass up a little bit here and there but when i put the bass up man this thing would beat guys like crazy and it would actually help it create that it was so much more louder really guys going above and beyond getting the amps to look good and make sure all the connections are nice and tight made a big uh part over the weekend guys man it performed fantastic um i couldn't have asked for anything better once again all the terror amps proved to me that i made a good choice on the amps that i actually chose for this truck um if i were to make a thousand review videos on the terror amps i'm always going to tell you man their things are, are fire um they're badass they put lots of power um and they're just really good for what i was looking for and was definitely pushing all the speakers in the truck to the max and if you have seen the thumbnail of the video man these two speakers right there guys i think those guys are just pretty much about done for let me take off the speaker grill so you guys can actually see what they look like look at these things guys that dust uh that cone's messed up the dust cap's completely exploded the dust cap on that guy's completely gone and this thing is um minus the dust cap uh that speaker is actually still pretty good just the dust cap's gone i don't even know if i can get any more those are evs so i think those guys are discontinued and i think this one's actually discontinued as well too but for some reason they're still playing i'm not gonna lie there was a point where i actually did turn up the mid bass just a tad bit guys um and i think that's what ended up causing those guys to take um the beating that they did uh the other two didn't take the beating only those two did i don't know why but you know they they're they're done for um so i think you know within a couple weeks we'll go ahead and take those guys out and replace them but other than that um sound quality man it was really really on point like i said the tuning that we actually did for the silverado um it wasn't a spicy one it was just pretty much more how long i can get the truck to play for and when i tell you guys that the truck actually played for a really really long time guys the truck really did play for a long time Sat, uh, friday night when i actually got there i think we jammed the truck full tilt for probably like two hours two hours straight maybe three hours straight on and off just because there was just so many cops everywhere and we were pretty much just getting uh, kicked out of everywhere and the thing was um i wasn't really trying to record while we were driving nor my wife too because any little thing man they were just pulling you guys over and they were not even playing no games they were towing everybody's cars um i know saturday some dude that pretty much dropped almost like 50 racks on his stunt wall piece to get done he just pulled into the strip swerved a little bit and they pulled him over and he got his truck towed you know what i'm saying so that actually pretty sucked for him uh, dropping all that money and then he didn't get to enjoy his uh weekend so we pretty much didn't want to run into no problems and we actually didn't run into no problems so that was a big factor on why um i didn't get to record a lot heavy friday night that, like i wanted to and number two guys it was raining really bad like it was drizzling and then it was like real misty foggy outside and you know having this thing open with the rain it's its worst enemy so whenever we had a chance to like go underneath the, like um a gas station or something you know we jammed out but other than that i had to have it closed and stuff like that so that was actually uh friday night Saturday, saturday i think we actually got to the strip we got posted up and we got parked i want to say like around like 12 but i didn't really start jamming the truck till like 12 30 1 o'clock and literally guys so we were there on the strip i was recording um from there that time to like four or five o'clock i think man i was jamming the truck non-stop like crazy like crazy uh, man we were jamming we were actually a good location to see all the whips and everything um but then someone had broke down and then there was a uh 12 that was parked right in front of us and i just didn't want to take any chances on you know drawing attention to myself with the stunt wall and um to have him tell me to turn it off or having my truck towed or anything because they were towing stuff like crazy down there guys i'm not even much playing towards like six o'clock six thirty 
Um, we were actually trying to get into the show, um, but they had already shut the show down because there was just so many people. It was really, really overcrowded. Um, and I'm the type of person, like, I don't like to be first at the show, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to pull up. So at least there's already a lot of people there so we can, you know, get a few little attention. And we ended up finding a spot to sneak in. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So we had to jump, like, this little barrier that's, like, the parking lot uh, barrier that they have. So we hopped that thing and we pulled up where, you know, all the trucks were with the stump walls and everything. And, man, guys, when I tell you, man, we pulled up and, you know, people were feeling the truck, man. We were out there jamming the, the Silverado and people were feeling it. And, like I said, it wasn't the loudest one out there, but, man, it's sounding nice and crispy i think uh man i think i jammed the truck that night to like 9 30 at night guys maybe 8 30 i could be wrong but one of those i can't remember when i left um but man we were jamming that truck pretty much from like one o'clock to like 8 30 guys and that thing was beaten and towards the end of the night the amps were actually pretty pretty hot um so i did have the the only amp that actually did cut out on me guys was the MD3000 that goes for the 610s which was this guy right here and only because I think I had pumped up the mid bass a little bit so it was actually working a lot so I ended up just turning it down a little bit just so it could last longer and you know I think it was just clipping out towards the end of the night I'm not even gonna lie guys the PPI amp got extremely hot but it never once cut out on me this thing straight played guys it was you, I could cook an egg on this thing but never once did it actually cut out on me which which was pretty badass just having like the crossovers here handy and easy to get to I was able to adjust the settings here and there when I needed to but pretty much um, they all stayed the same I was just playing with like the levels the frequency settings and all that stuff all pretty much stayed the same um, I would just turn it up and turn it down as I go and at the end of the day I just think I just turn it up a hair halfway and then that's how I had to play for the rest of the night okay so now that the actual Florida classics are done with guys um, December 12th there is like a, a base competition like show thing in St. Pete Florida the flyer is right here if you guys want to pull up um, as time goes check out the community post and I'll keep dropping the flyer in there so you guys can come through and listen to the Silverado or if you have a build man pull up um, definitely keep an eye on my Instagram um, YouTube underscore three times mousetrap um, I'll post a lot of the information from that sh for that show on there as well too and you know exclusive videos and stuff like that of the Silverado when we were at the Florida Classics um, because I couldn't play no copyright stuff here on the YouTube channel so check that out there and so today is Thursday Thanksgiving um, Man, I'm going to go shopping tomorrow probably. I need to get myself a MacBook, and I've seen that Best Buy got MacBook for $700. And I'm going to try to see if I can find my son that PlayStation Portal. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. But most importantly, Saturday, guys, it is my birthday. So definitely, so tomorrow's Friday. I probably won't drop a video till Sunday. So definitely in the video today, guys, drop Happy Birthday Mouse. You see what I'm saying? Um, truly appreciate it man you know it's been a long time coming I was trying to hit the 10k for my birthday um, but we didn't get to do it so but oh well but listen guys we still got to um, December 29th and 30th to hit the 10,000 subscribers I want to start off 2024 with 10,000 subscribers and don't forget when we get to 10,000 subscribers I'm gonna give away those two 10 inch sundown subwoofer for e-class series subs so man definitely subscribe to the channel man hit the like on all the videos watch the videos and someone's gonna walk away with a pair of free sundown tenant subs all right so I'm not gonna hold you guys up that much man everybody's starting to get here right now your boy's about to go eat um, man look at the clips of the food right now uh, the fam and I appreciate everybody that um, watched all the Florida classic videos man I appreciate all the guys that watched uh, all the videos of getting the truck ready for the classics uh, man we still got the rest of the year to go hard go so definitely stay tuned subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace